I've been enthusiastically looking forward to the delivery of full self-drive software with the Tesla in Australia since 2021 when I purchased my first Tesla, the Model 3. I'll take the blue one. <laughs> I purchased the FSD software at the time and it did cost $10,000 because Elon Musk said that the price of FSD software would actually go up over time. So I thought it would only be one or two years away. Now in 2023, I sold the Tesla Model 3 and I purchased the Tesla Model Y. And at the time, there was no opportunity to transfer the FSD software from the Model 3 to the Model Y. So I again purchased the software, thinking that we must be getting very close now with FSD in Australia. In May of 2023, there were reports of the FSD beta software being tested in Australia, and I did make a video at the time. And then in January of 2024, FSD and actually Smart Summons was reported as being tested in Australia. I made a video about that one as well. Now we finally have a official announcement from Tesla that FSD will actually be activated in Australia initially on hardware for customer cars by the end of this year, maybe even sooner. But I've been looking into this because I've got a hardware 3 car and there is a computer upgrade coming. But the more I dig into this, the more I start to worry that hardware 3 car owners may actually be disappointed. Let me explain why. Hey, welcome back to Steve's Tesla. So here's what we know so far. There've been some reports and some videos of Tesla testing the FSD software in Australia. You've probably seen the software being tested around the Melbourne streets. And just in the last week, we saw a video where Tesla were testing FSD around Sydney. Followed up by an announcement by Tom Drew, their country manager, explaining that FSD has passed and has no further regulatory approval processes to get through, so they'll actually be delivering hardware for customers with FSD software during the latter part of this year. Now that brings me to the issue we've got with Hardware 3 customers. Now let's compare the key features of Tesla Hardware 3 and Hardware 4. Hardware 3 is equipped with the NVIDIA Drive P times 2 computer, which has a processing power of 144 teraflops. It has a sensor suite of 8 cameras, one radar and 12 ultrasonic sensors. The radar has a range of 160 meters and the night vision is good. Interference resistance is fair. Hardware 4 is equipped with the FSD Computer 2, which has a processing power of 300 to 500 teraflops. It has a sensor suite of 12 cameras, one radar and 12 ultrasonic sensors. The radar has a range of 300 meters and the night vision is considered excellent. The interference resistance is good. In terms of computing power, Hardware 4 is a significant upgrade over Hardware 3. It can process up to two to four times more data than Hardware 3, which allows it to make better decisions in real time. Hardware 4 also has a more advanced sensor suite, which allows it to see more detail and to better understand its surroundings. Overall, Hardware 4 is a major step forward. So in summary, we will at some point in the future get a computer upgrade for Hardware 3 cars to presumably take us to Hardware 4. Wouldn't it be great if they took us straight to Hardware 5? But that doesn't give us the full range of cameras and doesn't give us the longer range radar sensing capabilities that Hardware 4 cars have. So that does leave me wondering whether or not cars that are today Hardware 3 will ever make it 
to the same level of FSD performance as a hardware 4 car. Would an upgraded hardware 3 car be capable of running unattended as a robo-taxi in unsupervised mode? Gee, I really hope so. That's sort of what I had in mind for my car at some point. But I do worry that we're not going to quite get there with upgraded hardware 3 to 4 cars simply because they're not going to have the full range of sensors. Hey, I hope I'm wrong. Please subscribe and thanks for watching. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.